the saddle again. All right, let's do it. I tampered. All bad. <laughs> Sean, left alone today. Goodbye. YouTubers. Good morning. Today is a Monday. It is January 29th at 5.30 in the morning. And it's our first day back uh, from being off all last week. We were down on a Samaritan's Purse trip to Kentucky. And I am not excited to be here this morning. Um, there's just something about coming back from having time off that... I just hate getting back to work. Um, I hate the fact that when I pick up my phone here this morning, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of missed calls and a whole bunch of stuff and people to catch up with. And it just it stresses me out and I do not like it. Um, it's probably a good thing that we have missed calls and people trying to reach us. But anyways, today we are... Uh, Going back to one of our favorite uh, customers' houses today, um, a sweet, uh, sweet lady that we've done some work for already, and we're going to be doing quite a bit of more work for over the next uh, few weeks. Today we're going to replace a bunch of water lines in her basement, and we'll get started and we'll finish up tomorrow. So, see what we got going on. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like I only have about nine missed calls oh sorry 16 missed calls and 19 missed messages so plus I saw in my email inbox I had like 40 some emails so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and start sifting through those and see what we can find here and then I'm gonna try to go be, be productive um, out on the job site of course, it is 5.30 in the morning, so I can't really call those people back yet until I'm out on the job site. So, yeah. All right, let's do it. Time to see if the truck starts. Well, that's good news. Chancho's here. Chancho! You look like you hate your life this morning. I got a cold. So you do hate your life? A little bit. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Shoot. I'm gonna make you wear a respirator today to protect the rest of humanity. Dude, that would be like horrible for me. Sorry, dude. Look, I'm a mummy. I'll just like Joel. Let's go get some work done so I can go back home and sleep. <laughs> what a great attitude. You're so employable today. I gotta get gotta get over the cold sometime. I said let's go get work done. So I can go back home and go to bed. Well I wasn't really looking forward to today either. If that makes you feel better. Does that make you feel less mummified? Oh wow, miraculously my cold has gone away. Because you weren't looking forward to today. Good. Whoa, <laughs> it's a miracle. Yeah, somebody got the sass bug over the weekend. My gosh. <laughs> no, I still feel mummified. Born ready for this moment. Knock knock, hello. It's the plumbers! We're here to do some plumbing! We're gonna rip out your pipes and put them back in. And I don't know where the light switch is at. Holy smokes. There's one. There's one. There's another. Right by the door. Who would have thought? <coughs> Shun. Shun. Shoo. I don't want your diseases. I am now, but I won't be soon. You're going to intoxicate me. You want to use the potty before we shut it off? Um, I... All right. Are you sure you're going to be able to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to replace this valve here. 
um, and all this nasty loveliness. And then we're gonna replace all the galvanized water lines, which is these silver ones. They're old, they're plugged up, they're causing serious water pressure issues. But all of this galvy back through here, back this way, the kitchen, this sink, washer hookup, bathroom above here. All these gray silver lines coming out. I think if I can get Joel to work today, they're gonna come out. Oh. He yeah. says, oh. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Ready to start cutting? Yep. Let's do it. They're gonna come shut the water off at the street and then I can make the repair. Do not tamper. I tampered. You ever bean dip yourself and then be like, man, I need to work out? I can honestly say I've never done that. <laughs> Me either. I literally was watching you do it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make some phone calls. Are you good to go? I'm gonna go to my office and make some phone calls. You wanna wear this? Whatever, sounds good. I guess you did bring these in for something. Yeah? Yeah, for my office. You're welcome. What was that? That needs to be saved. Excuse me? I said that needs to be saved. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I said don't save What kind of setup we got here? I'm ready to roll. <laughs> My road office. We got a water heater this afternoon, YouTubers. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting that. Listen to this voice Get now. Get better. Leverage. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Hello, I am calling about a project I am bidding. Hey, Bill. All right, listen to this voicemail. Hello, I am calling about a project I am bidding. It's a 40,000 square foot um, apartment complex and it's got 33 units in it. Um, just trying to figure out if you'd be interested in uh, doing the apartment for it. I think it's around two hours from your guys' in. Bro. <laughs> he can't just listen to it. I heard all I needed to know. It's a forty thousand dollar or forty thousand square feet square foot a car, a par, uh. apartment building with like forty Th thirty three units, and it's two hours away. It's in West Virginia, so should we should we take the job? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they even call? I have no idea. Are there no plumbers in West Virginia? Like. I have no idea. There's it's got, hard not to look at that thing. There's got to be closer plumbers yeah. than two hours away. Weird. Yeah. I'm going to call him here in a bit. And say, sorry, not interested. What was that? That's the water department. Uh, got the water turned off. Uh, I'll take that camera back, please, sir. Whoa! Whoa! 
Dude! I'd say it's a good thing we're changing this thing. Holy smokes. It's in bad shape. I just went to wrench on it. And it broke. <laughs> the whole off. thing just came right off. <laughs> That's scary. Especially considering I was down here working on it. <laughs> I could have burst it at any moment. I think I was careful. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Woo. See if we got her. Put the water on. Hey, we didn't pray out this morning. No, we didn't. You want to do that now? Sure. You pray, because I'll just keep on hiccuping if I try to talk. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity we have to live another day. Uh, pray that you would be with Joel, help him to. Uh, get over whatever he's got here and he'd feel uh, good enough to get through the day and pray that you would help us to honor and glorify you give us opportunities to uh, love others in your name amen amen i need to pick up a water heater for later today so i'm just gonna go grab that while i'm out too okay and then you just have fun uh, okay yeah whatever i'll figure it out A quarter plume left alone today. Oh, the day in a life of a sick quarter plum. Oh my gosh. Come on. Tape the wrong way, it won't hold because it will just twist the tape right off. You have to make sure the end of your tape is facing the opposite of the way that it's threading on. There we go. That's on there, and that's on there. So now when we run packs, it will be ready to go. There's your toilet supply line. You got your sink supply lines. I got the shower set up so we can run packs on it. Now I gotta go to the kitchen sink and get it set up with new supply lines so that we can run it there. I got downstairs, I got two um, outside faucets shoved through and screwed on so those are ready. Uh, yeah, I love customers. Yeah, I actually have here my manager, the one who tried to call you earlier. Hi, Adrian, this is Joe, the owner to take your customer. He called us back. Yes, we're actually looking for any reliable business with a new location that can possibly work with. And I'm just wondering if they can ask a few questions, and that way we can see if this would be a good fit. Well, we're not very reliable, so I don't think we fit in your in description there. Um, what do you mean by that, Joe? Well, you said you're looking for a reliable business, and we're not reliable, so... Okay, okay. That's okay, Joe. But um, as I see, essentially, what I'm actually looking for is any small to middle-sized business that right now can do uh, either a plumbing or a fee. Well, we try, but you know how that goes. We kind of hack a bunch of stuff, so. Okay. Um, do you mean the business kind of going a bit slow right now, Joe? Is that what you're saying? No, 
business is great. We're just not very reliable. No, I don't think that's a good idea. We should probably be reliable before we work with you. That is nice. It's galvanized water for you. Galvanized water lines. I'm back! I'm back in the saddle again! I'm back! I'm back in the saddle again! <laughs> oh, finally done making all my calls. All like 23 or 4 or something, 20 something. The thing every day is not like this. I need a secretary. You wanna be my secretary? Do you get to wear a scandalous skirt? Yes. You do. Is that what secretaries wear? <laughs> You're hired! <laughs> Do I get to wear a scandalous skirt? Oh boy. You're a piece of work, you know that? A piece of work is okay. Put your uh, three quarter lines in first, then tie these two together, and then tie that one in. Tie them together first? Yeah, tie the straight run in first. Together. Okay. And then tie those in. Okay. Because it's real easy to get this pipe too long or too short. And then your straight run looks like garbage. Okay. But if you do the straight run first, okay. you'll be good. Okay, some... I feel good. Feels good. Back to work. I think I might have gotten stronger in Kentucky. Everything just seemed so much easier. Tightening stuff together and crimping fittings. I just, I, I think I'm stronger. Is that funny? You think I'm dumber. Wow. Who peed in your Fruit Loops this morning? So we added this check valve, dual check. Backflow prevention. It lets water go, come from the city into the house, but not from the house back to the city. It stops it right here. It's for health and safety. That way when the customers here washing their, uh, bathing their grandchildren in antifreeze, there's a pressure loss at the city and then it sucks the antifreeze out of the bathtub back into the city, it won't kill people. The moral of the story is make sure you have a, a backflow prevention before you bathe children in antifreeze. Make sense? Got it. Got it? At a winery. At a winery. For what? Somehow they sucked some sort of toxic something of wine into the system. Into the water, and then people that weren't even at the winery died, or something. Sounds like that wine wasn't good to drink. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. You got the chalk line. I'm gonna go put it back. Away. Put it away. You don't do that here. Stop it. Stop putting stuff where it belongs. Don't be responsible. We're not reliable. <laughs> I think we should uh, 
be more reliable before we work with you. <laughs> That's so good. Somehow reliable business turned to any business. No problem. <laughs> Reliable or unreliable? He's in. I do need Jesus. You are correct. Every day. How's the song go? Every hour I need you. Okay. I'm Joel. It's still 6 a.m. Excuse me? Forty-eight. I'll change this water heater and call it a day. Anybody here? Back to the shop. I got one on the shop at the shop. Oh boy, brand new filter. Awesome. Buy more. It happens. Take a chill pill, Isaac. It happens. It wasn't on purpose. Gonna be okay. What's up? How are you? Disappointed. Disappointed. About what? About dropping that. Oh. Cool. Me too. <laughs> Whatever. Last one lasted like 20 years. This one lasted about a day. Hello. Hey. You still working? I am. Did you look at my location? Yeah. <laughs> Creeper. I know why I wanted to see where you were, I guess. <laughs> I'm just over here at the neighbors goofing off. Oh, okay. Sounds good. You know that sound? Do I know that sound? Yeah. There's a bandsaw. Ooh. <laughs> no. It's oh. the press tool. Yeah. Okay, love you too. Bye. All right, let's get this thing out of here. This new one is barely gonna fit. There we go. Not sure how empty it actually is, but. That new one is significantly wider, like two inches wider. What do you say? Should we just try to shove it in there? See if it goes? I feel like we just give it a shot and hope it works. And, it, and if it don't, I guess we just quit. I almost quit earlier when I came in and told you the bad news. 
Guess we gotta manhandle it. Why is it so heavy? It's gonna be tight. Let you even go through the doorway. Oh, I measured it. Oh, it's in. That's in there. Yeah, that was about all we could handle to get it up in there. Hey, can you turn some males into that water filter? Yeah. I will try not to drop them. <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. That one was on, huh? Yeah. It was about like that. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Whew. <laughs> I know we had to bump that line pretty good to get it in there, because there is a gas line in there. So I was kind of concerned that maybe we hit something. Makes me feel a little better. Well, there's good news and bad news. Bad news is this is definitely a gas leak. Good news is the stove was on. Apparently we bumped it at some point. Is that what was leaking? Pack it up. All right, there it is. Finally, forever later. We'll, we'll see you. Yep, have a good evening. You're welcome. Man, that was a tricky son of a gun. Kicked our butt for a minute. But we got it. But we got it. Goodbye. 548. See ya. And Tancho is angry. And not feeling good. Anyhow, that job took way too long. All right, back in the dungeon. That job did not go very smoothly, but it's done. And today's over. So we're gonna try again tomorrow. Tancho had a very blah day, which didn't feel good. But he was kind of like, bleh, all day. Which wasn't super awesome. But hopefully he's feeling better tomorrow. And uh, Yeah, we'll have a good day tomorrow too. See you. Bye.